In this video, I will show you how to read a parquet file. First, we will import a JSON file. Then we will convert that JSON file into a parquet file. And then we will read the parquet file from pyspark.sql import spark session. We are going to create the spark session first. We are importing the class spark session here. I'll make an object spark. Now from the spark session class, I will call the method builder dot get or create. So this will create a spark session for us. Let's execute our code. Now I'm going to make one variable df. In this I'm going to read a JSON file and save it. So I will call our spark object spark and from this I will call the method read dot JSON. And inside this, I will pass my JSON file name and my JSON file name is simple underscore zip codes dot JSON. So I will type simple underscore zip codes dot JSON. Let's execute our code. So I'm importing the JSON file object and saving in the variable DF. Let's see the top five rows of our data frame DF. So I will write DF dot show and inside this I will put five here so here you can see these are the top five rows so we have columns such as city state zip code type and zip code now we are going to convert this JSON file into a parquet file now I'm going to convert this data frame into a parquet object so I will use the method write dot parquet I will call our data frame df dot write dot parquet because we want to convert it into a parquet file and inside this in single quotes or double quotes I will write the file name for example I'll write df dot parquet underscore one let's execute our code so now this will write a parquet file for us so it has written the file now we are going to load this parquet file I'm going to make one object let's say parquet file and to read the parquet file, we have to use this method read.parquet. So I will call our object spark. And from this, I will call the method read.parquet. And inside this, I will pass the parquet file name. So I'll just copy this from here because our parquet file name is df.parquet underscore one. And I'll paste it here. Let's execute our code. So it has read the parquet file and save in this object parquet file. Let's look at our data frame. I will call this parquet file dot show. And here in the output, you can see we got the data frame here. So we have all the columns such as city, state, zip code type and zip code. We can also check the schema that is the column names and their types. So I will write parquet file dot print schema and here in the output you can see we have schema here yes. so our city column is string state string zip code type string and zip code is long and here also you can see all these are string columns and the last one zip code is an integer type so it is a long type here we can also look at a particular column for example we just want to see the column city so I will write I will call our parquet file object dot select select method will let us select either one two or as many as column you want to see and this I will write for example city dot show and in the output you can see we got the result for column city only if you want to see more than one columns you just have to pass the second column name for example, we will also want to see the column state. So I'll just put one comma here and write the column name state. In the output, you can see we have city as well as state here. So this is how you can convert any file into a parquet file and then you can read that parquet file. This video was about how to read a parquet file in PySpark. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.